In this video, you will learn how to troubleshoot the cause of the Material Jam notification. First, inspect the spool that corresponds with the extruder that is displaying the error. Open the material bay and inspect the spool. You'll be looking for any sign of the material being tangled or caught underneath the spool. If the spool is tangled, unload the material, unwind the spool, and re-spool the material to load again. If the spool is not tangled or misrouted, there may be a backup of material in the extruder. To resolve this, you can purge the extruder. Navigate to Material on the menu, then select Purge. Allow the material to run freely from the nozzle until the sequence ends and then resume your print. If you continue to experience material jams after purging material from the extruder, there may be an issue with the way the material is routed. If there is a routing issue, it usually means there's friction being created between the material and the routing system. First, unload material by navigating to Material, then select Unload. Remove the top lid of the method in order to access the guide tube and swivel clips that feed into the extruder. Gently remove the swivel clips by pulling upward, away from the extruder. If you don't see any material in the swivel clip or in the guide tube, that means the material is blocked further down in the routing. Follow the guide tube to the left interior side of your method. On the outside of the method, you will see a hidden plastic cover which is removable. Remove it by pulling away from the bottom tab. Here you will see what we call the Y splitter which connects the internal routings to the external guide tubes. You will want to reseat the guide tubes in the splitter in the event that they are misaligned. In order to remove the guide tubes, push the material tabs toward the splitter and pull the guide tube away. Once removed, insert the guide tube into the splitter. Once the guide tubes have been reseated, load material again and resume the print. If you're printing with a moisture sensitive material, such as PVA or nylon, it's possible that the material may have absorbed some moisture, which is causing it to have issues printing. If none of the above solutions resolve the material jams, you may need to dry the material before proceeding. If your material is not yet unloaded, unload the material and loop the lead back onto the spool. Locate the mylar bag that is used to store the material and insert the spool. If you have a desiccant packet available, Add this to the bag as well. Next, seal the mylar bag. Navigate to Settings, Advanced, Dry Material on your printer's menu. You'll be prompted to select Dry Material. Then select the material type that you are drying, insert the spool, and return at the designated time. Reload the material and try your print again.